Hey there, and welcome to another screencast from the Coding Pad. My name is Mary, and today we're going to do the second part of the complete beginners, kind of going the way all the way back to um, the very basics screencast. And if you recall, in the last screencast, we installed a local development environment. In our case, we installed WAMP server on Windows. And if you're on Mac, um, you saw that you can do the same thing using MAMP or XAMP. Or on Windows, you can also use XAMP. But I chose to install WAMP server because that's um, my favorite um, development environment, and I'm used to it. And like I said, there are a lot of things I like about it. Um, so today's screencast, we're going to take the next step. So now we have our local environment set up. We have WAMP server set up. Um, the next step is how do we um, use it and how do we set up our projects? Um, the question might be, so I have this thing on my computer. You tell me I can develop on it, but where do I put my files? Where do I develop my websites? Um, how do I how do I go about setting up projects so that I can load them into the browser? And that's that's what we're going to look at today. So want to make sure first that um, WAMP server is loaded and running. So I'm going to get that started. Um, and down here, you see the WAMP server icon that tells you that it's running. And of course, we're going to test it out by loading localhost, and that opens up just fine. So we're good to go. Um, I need to revert that back. Um, I had just switched it for testing something. Just give me one minute. Version, remember we did this, 5.2.11. And that resets itself. And we're going to reload that, and we're ready to go. OK, so this page that loads up when you um, start localhost, when you start WAMP server, that's your index.php in, in, in your WAMP server uh, folder. And if I come here and I click, you see there's one directory that's right there in the shortcuts, and that's the www directory. And the file that we're seeing here, this page that we're seeing here, is actually this index.php file. And so that tells you that this folder is basically where we're going to store our files. It's where we're going to store our projects. Um, and you can have more than one project. You can set up more than one project in this space here. And your projects, as you set them up, should show up when you load your initial page, should show up here under your projects. And of course, you have the option to set your project up right in the root and overwrite this index.php. But I think as a beginner, it's kind of nice to leave this there and not mess with it because it, it sort of gives you a portal of entry to let you know that WAMP server is running fine and, and to let you know that you're not having any errors. So as a beginner, I would encourage you to actually not displace this file unless you you know absolutely feel comfortable and, and, and you're fine and, and, and you're good doing that. So here we are in our www folder. This is C, WAMP, www. And to create our first project so that it shows up in this list and we're able to navigate to it, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this test. All right, so that's going to be our test project. And if I now refresh that, under my projects, I should see test. But if I click on that, of course, it just opens um, nothing. It just opens kind of the index of test. And if I had any files in there, you know, they might show up there. All right, so let's go back. And in this test folder, I'm going to create a file, a PHP file. So always when you're coding in PHP, you, you want to enclose your code in the PHP um, tags. And I'm going to create simply echo this is my first project. Of course, close that with a semicolon. And I'm going to save that under my, and save this under my um, www folder in my test. And I'm going to call it index.php. OK, and let's close that. If I now come back and load test, it should open that file that says, this is my first project. And you can see right here that you've navigated to HTTP localhost test. Now, in one of the screencasts that I did before, and I'm going to link to that, you'll learn how to change things in, in, your, in your local environment so that you can actually navigate just straight to test without having to go through localhost test. But for now, this is good enough. So we have our first project set up, which is pretty good. All right. now. That's the first step. So we know where to put our files. We know where to create our projects. If I was to come here and create a second one, 
new folder and I was to call this um, test2. Oops, sorry about that. And I was to call this new folder test2. And I was to refresh that. Then test2 should now show up right there. So you see that you have an easy way to navigate your projects when you're starting out and, and, and to kind of have a way of saving all your projects and, and, and knowing where the files are and where you need to upload things. All right, so that's good to go. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how to um, set up databases and users and how to connect your users with your databases. And this is important because in a lot of the um, scripts that we're using, th they're dynamically driven, they're, they're database driven, they're dynamic websites that are database driven. And so that means, for example, if you go to install WordPress, it always asks you, um, tell me the name of the database and tell me the name of the user. Same thing with Drupal, same thing with Modex. And this is where I think a few people have been tripping um, in the emails, and they've been sending me emails saying, what's all this about creating a database and creating a user? All right, so let's look at that. If I come back to uh, my WAMP server homepage and go to PHP My Admin, and again, you can navigate to this directly just by clicking on the icon and just going to PHP My Admin. So this is your PHP My Admin page. By default, um, you come with two. It comes with two databases: the Information Schema and the MySQL. Just leave those alone. You want to create your own databases, and that's pretty straightforward. When you're in this page, you see here it says Create New Database. So I'm going to create one called Test, and then Collation. That has to do with how the data. Um, how, how the data is formatted, and, and that's a little beyond the scope of this tutorial. But for now, um, I'm just going to set this to UTF. Um, I'm just going to go with UTF. Um, for now, I'm going to use general. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to create. All right. And you see now, it sets, it shows me the SQL command, the SQL query that created that database. And as time goes by, and, and, and like I said, in the previous screencast, as you get your feet wet and, and you learn how to configure these things, you may find that instead of relying on PHP My Admin to administer your databases and, and create them and configure them, you might find that you're more inclined to use the MySQL command line because you know it may be faster and more efficient for you, and you'll learn how to um, type out these queries and run them. But for now, it's it's good that you know you can see what the what query created the task that you just requested. And it's also a nice way of learning the language um, 